right here on Hot 93.3 FM. And yes, you're listening to The Business Show. That song, by the way, is just a few hours old. And yes, we are premiering it right here on Hot 93.3 FM. We're going back to Money Talks right now. Hope you're ready. The Business Show with Hex Xavier. It's the business clinic on radio. Calm, learn and solve problems around strategy and structure. Growing your business. Join Izu, Daisy and Essay every Thursday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Heart 93.3. The Business Show with Daisy, Izu and Essay. Welcome back. You're back right here on the business show. And yes, it's time for us to go in to discuss real, real, real good issues. You've got Daisy, you've got Izu, you've got Essay, and we have got a guest right here in the building. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to have you with us this beautiful morning. Yeah, thank you for having me. Joy. Beautiful. So let's just have your name. Joy. Yes, I'm Joy. And yeah, I'm here for today's show just to contribute a bit of yeah. what I know. Uh, that's beautiful. And uh, Joy, by the way, is um, someone that is really, really good and versatile. She's just fresh off the market and she um, has come to contribute on most of the dis- um, stuff that we are discussing. So today we are looking at management and um, she is someone that knows a lot about that. Okay, so um, you already know you've got Daisy, you've got Isa, and you've got SA right here in the building. And today we are looking at the 19 principles. 14. Girl. I, I've, I've made it 19. <laughs> I actually added five to it. Do you know why? We are list them now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, um, the reason why we des- decided to discuss this today is because we have elections coming up, right? And... Um, Like we said at the beginning of the show, if you were with us at 9 a.m., we said that Nigeria is like a business and we are trying to manage this, our company, right? And we need to know the principles to make sure that we do this effectively well. So we're looking at those principles that we need to know. By the way, at the end of the show, we usually do giveaways. Um, uh, We were telling you what we're giving away today. But then we ask questions where people can win stuff. And should we give Expo before we go or should we? Just listen and towards the tail end, you'd, you'd have to <laughs> sort of mention something we mentioned. Uh, so pay attention. Okay. Okay. So you've got it. Pay attention and um, get to win something at the end of the day while we discuss how to move our country and our businesses forward. Right. So what are we discussing today? So today we're talking about the 14 business principles. That is 14 things, 14 ideas, 14 concepts that as a business manager, as anybody who's running a business, you need to understand in, in order for your business to run effectively, in order to create an efficient, profitable, um, good place to work kind of business. Mm. Yep, yep. Okay, so efficient, profitable, and a place with good work culture that's good vibes good yeah vibes. good <laughs> good intimacy good vibes yeah but definitely um you don't want to work in a place that you'll be having high bp while you're working so to build such a place there are some principles you need to know what are those principles yeah. let's start with um are they categorized um in priority or are they all important I think that categorizing in, 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 in an order, first things first, uh, mm. I think the first one has to be division of labor, right? okay. division of work, right? Um, which is a perfect way to talk about departmentalization. Right? Mm. If you want to run a great company, the first thing you realize is that you can't really run a great company until you can break down the work of that company into categories. So there's accounting. A good example of where the concept of principles of management came from is in production, right? Um, you want to get things done really fast. So if you go to a, say, factory, clothing factory, you find out that the guy that is going to produce more clothes is the one that has someone specializing in one thing. Maybe the guy just doing the needles and the sewings and, and needles and threads and the other person who's doing the quality assurance. So the first one is called division of work, right? Which is really tr- basically saying have department for things, right? Um, let people concentrate on one thing because when you concentrate on one thing, you have mastery and mastery creates... Um, sort of consistency, right? That second one is authority and responsibility. If you want to create a great company, somebody must be in charge, right? Someone must always be in charge. It's always important. Leadership, every business must have an authority, right? That authority basically means hierarchy. Uh, for me, I like to say in any business, have a big boss and have, a, have some set of small bosses. So don't talk to the small boss 
until you've talked don't talk to the big boss until you've talked to the small boss mm. i'll say that again don't talk to the big boss until you've talked to a small boss so you're walking to an eatery and the cleaner wants to clean say the restroom and there's no soap mm. you don't talk to the owner of the of the of the, the eatery yeah. until you've talked to your supervisor and i see people do this all the time right oh guy, okay, where's know, the manager no, yes you know, where is the manager yes, you ask for the supervisor before you ask for the manager <laughs> you ask for the md yeah. before at, at any time you see, see the good thing about management is we're looking for how management doesn't work i'm sorry to say but look at the country nigeria the fact that you can <sighs> talk to someone in his checkpoint and say do you know who my father is and mm. because your father knows the idea of police mm. that means you've skipped mm. the police officer in charge of that checkpoint mm. you skipped the dpo of the station that's supposed to take you to you skipped the divisional head you skipped the commissioner you went straight to the ig and that's how nigeria works right you mm. can call somebody and you don't run you can't create a great business if people don't have small buses before they get to the big bus which is what number two is talking about so i just quickly list them division of labor authority discipline i don't know maybe you want to list some other ones yeah we also have proper remuneration motivation centralization chain of command order job security which is very important and even most times not seen in nigeria like some people have jobs and then like after two months they don't have jobs again mm. or like one year and like that's one thing that we really lack in Nigeria. I feel like a lot of people need to work on in their businesses. Mm. And there's also the fact that people don't have like for a job to continue after they've died. Most times you look at big businesses and then after the owner dies, it's like oof. Anyway, so it's that. like yes, they have lack of continuity, mm -hmm. which is like really, really important for any business, any business at all to keep on going because nobody can live forever. Yeah, we have to have that too. And there's also team spirit. If you don't have people that believe in your work, it just can't work. Mm. That's why most companies have like their vision and mission statements at the wall. There was a company I went to and then they made everybody learn their vision and mission statement. Mm. It was kind of like, you need to know this thing if you want to work with us. If you don't know it, we can't give you a job. Yeah. Mm. And then I feel like he helps the company because like everybody's working towards a particular goal mm. and they're not like trying to mm. run around. Yeah. Okay. Wow, we've listed a lot of things, and I think the one that stood out for me is um, job security, because that's something that most Nigerian employers, um, they haven't been able to provide for staff, right? And you would see a company hire, do mass hiring, mm -hmm. like, do we hire 15 at, the, at a straight, like, once, first batch 15, second batch 20, and you are seeing people coming for orientation. Uh, what is happening? We need this. We need that. We need that. And in the next five months, in the next three months, in the next six months, no one is asking questions. It's a major problem, actually. And these are destinies. These are lives that you're laying off. These are people. You will hear massive layoffs, right? Mm -hmm. In the tech scene, um, um, uh, last year, um, late last year into early this year, We've been seeing lots of layoffs. Um, the last one we heard from was um, PayPal. Actually, there is another one after PayPal. I just can't remember everyone's right now. Literally, yeah. everyone's been laid off. Everyone. Yeah. So it's it's just it's just I don't know. Is it that they are new? Because tech is relatively but, but new. No, the company no. needs to know the dynamics. So uh, let me play devil's advocate. Uh, let me play devil's advocate for, okay. for once. You also need to know the dynamics of where generational. Um, dynamics or what you call the generational kinetics come into play. So the Gen Zs, by their nature, don't stay as long in a job, mm. right, as the millennials mm. or the other people for the millennials, right, mm. and uh, and that affects work. So sometimes it's not that the employers want to keep people. Don't forget, don't 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 always remember that Gen Zs are a bit crazier. Mm. Right. Also, a bit. <laughs> we have them. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> some people are saying that. Yeah. Some people wow. are going to be saying something. Like, <laughs> no, the wow, the, the wow factor. So let me tell you, uh, the twenty first century uh, customer, which is really driven by Gen Zs, are mm. lazy, crazy, and busy, and it's a thing in management. So let me what, what I mean by crazy. They like excitement. So most com people come to companies and they're not finding it exciting i'm sure you i remember yesterday when i met you i said why do you want to work here and then you said that because you feel like it's exciting it's a vibe but that's what it's typical yes, company because right. you can see a couch you can lie down if you're tired nobody's going to say wake up why are you sleeping on duty you know so sometimes it's those factors but also i think that this social media short span for information is also another thing people want to move yeah move up the ladder and if you look at nigeria you find out there's a correlation between companies that keep it for a very long time and the quality of work that they do you know the the industry that has the biggest um, job security in Nigeria. 
is actually government. Mm. And I'm telling you, yes. and that's why government doesn't work. That's why government doesn't work. So that's just mm. like devil's advocate. You have no business being a company for 10 years right if you're not adding value and this is me talking from an employer's yeah. perspective right so i think i'm, I'm a huge fan of <laughs> pardon me she says uh, i'm a huge fan of hire slowly fire swiftly right hire slowly take out time go through step one step two step three step four i'd say my well, always felt that it's better to go without a staff mm. than to go with the wrong staff so mm. it's a very abstract perspective but i'm sure the ceos who are driving can relate to this everybody prays they keep staff for a very long period of time but if your 20s if in your 20s see i advise my colleagues this all the time if in your 20s it's really time for you to experiment mm. switch jobs three four times figure out what you want to do in life mm. right as you grow older stability becomes really the goal really important, yeah. important very very important speaking of importance we have to go pay some bills when we come back we'll take more of this discussion so stay right here with us daisy and essay every thursday 9 a.m to 10 a.m on hearts 93.3 the Business Show with Daisy, Izu, and SA. Welcome back. Okay. We are back right here, and yes, it's Hot 93.3 FM. We just have a few minutes on the show before we wrap this up at most 10, actually 12 minutes right here. And we have some time for you to call in and win some prices. We're giving out tickets to our brunch. A breakfast. Oh, it's hotel. breakfast. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're giving out tickets to a breakfast at Ho- um, Echo Hotels. By the way, this show is brought to you by Hex Xavier. Um, Hex Xavier is a consultant firm will basically help you through your business process but then i'll just leave it to the experts to say it properly <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're, the name of the company is hexavia um, hexavia is a business and management consulting firm so our core is in building startups and in corporate restructuring so you want to ask or you're asking what's the next what's your next big move or you, you know your next big move but you don't know how to get there so restructuring startup expansion Right, so we're the right guys to talk to, and every now and then we we'll have this CEO's breakfast in Echo Hotel and Suite. Right, top level executive CEOs who do over 100 million every month or at least a quarter in turnover. People who have 20, 30 staff, we sit down together and we we'll discuss. I had a blast last weekend, it was amazing, super amazing. 30 plus CEOs in one room having brunch, uh, having brunch, um, buffet brunch in the last floor of Echo Hotel, looking the Echo Atlantic is an amazing view, it's an amazing experience, <laughs> and I think it should be at the next one. So, if you want to attend, you can call in and you can win, or if you just want to attend without even winning, uh, it's a paid event, just um, send interested um, to the number 080 Okay, so um, we, um, you already know what you're winning. So, now that you know what you're winning, uh, by the way, have I said that? We are actually giving out tickets. I've said that, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, we're giving out tickets to that. So um, if you don't get a ticket, don't worry. You can still participate by just sending um, yes to the numbers that you're supposed to send to. But meanwhile, we're giving out a ticket today. So I'm so excited about that. Yeah, and pay attention to what we're discussing and you will just win a ticket later on on the show. So we're discussing um, the 14 business principles. Exactly. And I think Izu's already listed them. We'll keep going. Yeah, we'll about them for yeah. your sake. Um, but I think the two that stuck out to me right now have been discipline and remuneration. In regards to discipline, hmm, my <laughs> little Gen Z, <laughs> like the way she said, your Gen Z, <laughs> no, my, my, little, my little Gen Z ears heard that and I was like, discipline. <laughs> That's what we, we don't like that word. Shady, why like me? Discipline. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, it's how important is this? Is a discipline. Well, it's not the hands up, close your eyes type of discipline. <laughs> okay. It's about ground rules. Every company has got to have ground rules. You see, motivation gets us started, but discipline gets us going. Mm-hmm. Right? Motivation gets us started, discipline gets us going. No great com- country or even a great company runs without discipline. Like, discipline is things we agree we will not do, things we must do, things that would happen if we do what we should not do which is consequences mm. right even the universe runs on consequences yeah karma yeah. right it's a so we call it poker management something you do that stops you from 
going out of the order. So discipline is really key. Every company must have ground rules, basic ground rules. So I, I think it's, 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 it's deep in itself. We don't mm. want it. It's one of those things we must have, even though we don't want to have them. Like mm. no, no great institution runs, runs. That's why if you look at most organized systems, like the military, you see that it runs basically on discipline, right? Mm. Um, discipline and commitment, in my own opinion, is like one of the best. And I agree with you with remunerations. Um, every human being in their most innate form have selfishness we're all selfish in our own ways right but then it's really about you thinking win-win and i've learned something in management that you can get anything done right you can get anything from anyone if you can first give them what they want and why would anyone even apply for a job apart from the fact that there are other things but the truth about it is the people that even say they're passionate about their job take our salary for three months and see whether they're really passionate about their job i think we should be paid well or at least compensated for not being paid well Mm. So, um, so like example, I always tell my colleagues, I, I run a team of all first class graduates, right? Um, and one thing I tell my guys is, look, I cannot give you Shell and Chevron money in terms of salary. I don't have Shell and Chevron money to give you, but I'm promising you I can give you a place to learn and to grow and a great team that even when you leave, you're still going to have friends. You have to compensate for something. Mm -hmm. So, remuneration doesn't have to exactly be Naira and Kobo. It might be a great work environment, it might be a great work culture. Right, but what's what's motivation for you? I, I'm, I like I like the idea <laughs> that it doesn't always have to be money. You can be creative. You can get to know like your staff and see what they would appreciate. So for me, it's not always money. Sometimes Adriyama shirts. Mm. Some they cut Gaia shoes. What, what? <laughs> Sometimes that's <laughs> money. Sometimes just a new bag. Just put the outfit together, style it for me, and we're good to go. Like, <laughs> what is that? I uh, I expensive no stuff. Idea. She's just listing expensive <laughs> stuff. And she said it's not money. <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, uh, for the benefit of those that um, didn't join us earlier on on the show, can we just do a recap of those principles that are very important? And please let's take them. Through. We know that you are experts. We know that you know, right? But just help us that don't know. Just take them one by one. Yeah. All right. Fourteen principles of management. One division of labor or what you call division of work, okay. right? It creates specialization and creates departmentalization. Second one is authority. People must be in charge. Third one is discipline, rules, mm. and routines. Discipline gets things going. No, motivation gets things going. Discipline gets, keep, motivation gets things started. Discipline gets things going. Unity of command, right? Each person must have one boss, at most two boss, right? Everybody's work is nobody's work. You can't run a company where people don't know their boss direct boss then there is unity of direction we must all be looking at one thing one goal right everybody must be looking at that thing a great team is not people with equal skill a great team is people with equal commitment to one goal right then subordination remuneration centralization scalar chain order and equity stability initiatives or what you call innovation and esprit de corps. Esprit de corps is another deep one. And I like the term, I think. It's, what's esprit Why de corps? Why is one, let's break this down, one. Why is that in another language? Like, okay, we get it, you're fancy. Why? <laughs> Two, what does it mean? Three, why is it important? I, well, I honestly don't know what, what it means, like, literally. But mm. I know esprit means spirit, right? Mm. So spirit of the core. So it's like the deep, it's, it's actually like, for you to run a great company, it has to be run like, a, most like a fraternity. Mm. Right, you know what makes a fraternity deep, right? So whether you're talking about <laughs> the, the the fraternities of like like Amok and yeah. Illuminati and yeah, Freemason <laughs> or Obuni, you have to have something that deep. Meaning that when we all come in, is deep. There's almost an initiation process, mm. and then we stand by ourselves. Have you ever seen where maybe a soldier is quarrelling with someone, right? And another soldier is just passing by. Mm. He doesn't know the soldier from anywhere. But the fact that we're wearing the same uniform. Mm right we stand for ourselves so there has to be that look you're my guy you're my blood right mm -hmm. so i think that's really what inspired the call it's like a sense of loyalty and a sense of unity it's it's deep once you have a company that has that it's it's amazing we it's have to amazing. give people the opportunity to call in and say all of these things to us right <laughs> <laughs> so yes there's that time where you call in and jump in on the conversation zero eight one eight two four two six five nine one zero eight one eight two four two six five nine one and of course on whatsapp you can um, send us a message on zero eight one eight double zero eight nine nine three three that is zero eight one eight double zero eight nine nine three three so tell us 
what um, list seven of the fourteen seven of the fourteen principles that we have listed right now, and when it, okay yes let's just leave it at that right <laughs> just list seven of um, the fourteen you know while you were talking um, is there, um, you mentioned leadership you mentioned authority and um, like we like to, we like to use Nigeria as a case study when we are discussing business because I think everyone can relate right. What are those things that people need to look out for when they're choosing leaders, when they're choosing people to lead a team? Like you said, at least someone should report to someone, right? So right here, let's use this country as an example. What are those things that we should look out for? In Saturday. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are making Saturday. decisions on Saturday. Saturday. So we need to know what mm. we are going to vote for. One, someone who has the genuine superpower to influence people. Okay. People who are just have that power. People who are great communicators, because the leader spends the majority of his time communicating, communicating your vision, communicating the process, even communicating why you did what you did. Mm -hmm. You you have to be a great orator most of the time. It's not a criteria, but it's always best. If you look at the likes of the Obamas, the Clintons, I mean, I'm talking about the real Clinton, not Hillary, mm -hmm. right? You find like wow. some people are going to invite <laughs> you right now. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But it's fine. You know, but but yeah, you've got to be a great communicator. You've got to also be passionate, very genuinely passionate about what you do. Yeah. You've got to be the guy who understands sacrifice you have to put the common good of the people over your own personal ambition you have to be someone who understands sacrifice it's always something you must be able to do you must know the way so knowledge is also key mm. you must be able to go the way so practice is also key that you must be able to show the way mentorship know the way go the way show the way and great leaders must know the way right you can't leave people there on the same level as especially mentally You've got to be able to. People need to look up to you, especially in times of weakness. Look up to you and gain strength from looking at you. Right. So I think um, that's key. Okay. okay. Um, now you know. So as we go to our polls on Saturday, um, these are the things that we should be looking out for. We don't have so much time on the show, so we have to wrap up. Um, and um, actually, we can take calls right now. We can see some calls buzzing in, but we can't take them right now because we don't have time. But don't worry. We would do this next week. Hopefully, by then, we would know who our next leader is. And hopefully, we would see all of those qualities in the person that we are looking out for. Um, first of all, Joy, I want to say thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Um, Joy is joining us today. She's usually not here. So we are so glad that you were able to put some contributions right here in the conversation. And then for our beautiful team members, <laughs> Izu and Ese, what do you have to say as we wrap up? And we look forward to the election on Saturday. How early do you have to be there? <laughs> <laughs> you have to be there. <laughs> Voting starts by, by 9. Okay. Is it 8 or 9? I can't remember now. Yeah. But the, just be there by 8, right? Uh, let's say 9, right? So when you're done, you can go home. Yeah. How long does it take?